Um, and, uh, you know, the rewards just keep coming in for the king, the king, you know, who assisted Israel in blocking Iranian ballistic missiles, hosts U.S. air bases, hosted U.S., you know, secret bases for the dirty war on Syria, Israel to extend water agreement with Jordan. Jordan actively helped thwart the Iranian threat against Israel. And now it appears Israel is prepared to thank the Hashemite kingdom by granting a year's extension despite previous reluctance. Israel doesn't have any water. It's basically screwed over Jordan by usurping the water from the Jordan River and then, you know, and the West Bank. In, and the West Bank. Yeah. There's aquifers there. I'm so, sure that's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. And so, it, I mean, wow, they're going to give them water for another year. That's crumbs off the master's table. And that's what, that's the kind of a uh, dignity that the king has brought to the Arab world. I mean, and it's never been, it's ex been exposed like never before. I mean, what we've been seeing, oh. go it ahead on you. I know. I just remembered that there was that bizarre coup attempt too in Jordan in 2021. And since then, uh, King Abdullah's half brother has actually been under house arrest in Jordan. So this is a very dictatorial, obviously. I mean, they're not pretending to be a democracy kingdom, but there are definitely there's something there. There are deeper family issues here at play because I am sure there are elements within the Jordanian establishment that do not want to support Israel and the West to this degree. Uh, do you remember that a few? It was in 2021, I think. Uh, and yeah, since then, Prince Hamza, who was who was the crown prince, he was uh, in 1999 was named the crown prince, is now under house arrest. So there's a lot of intrigue in Jordan, and I don't think we get a lot of reporting about it because it's such a controlled and tightly managed uh, society. You know, all that we hear about Syria or even Iraq, I think, at certain points, uh, have nothing on the Jordanian intelligence services. So, Max, maybe you can speak more about that. Well, Jordan's court says, so basically Prince Hamza apologized for last year's alleged plot to destabilize the pro-Western kingdom. Um, you have to wonder then what his interest is. We never, we, we just never hear about it. It's sort of papered over. Whereas, you know, any possible threat to the Assad family's control over Syria would be front page news. Yeah, I mean, imagine if Assad had a half brother who tried to lead a revolution, they would say it wouldn't be a coup and he was under house arrest. It would be a huge story. <laughs> well, Prince Hamza basically accused the rulers of Jordan of being feckless, corrupt, completely hapless uh, in a video message. And it, you know, it did go viral. And that was the end of him. Um, and, you know, King Abdullah, he's been papering over his relationship, direct relationship with Israel and the West through these photo ops where he's dropping aid over Gaza. It's kind of like when he participated in the mission in a US made F-15 against ISIS after ISIS captured and tortured to death a Jordanian pilot. I mean, he's the master of photo ops. Here he is basically, by the way, allowing um, Israel to not permit aid by land to create the perception that aid is going in by air that people are getting enough this is basically just hospara <laughs> yeah this is like well i have to and it's also it's also killed people right people have been killed by these airdrops i don't know if they came from jordan or not but there was even more deaths uh, just the other day in Gaza. I wonder what the death toll is now from uh, just alone, these airdrops killing people because they drop on their heads.